vacation for my mama When I finally make it Take on my vacations to Bahamas Always celebrating Ever since my birthday was the bomb And now I'm detonating No, you can't relate You just can't relate Every day I wake up like a boss And I'll be thanking Jesus Fake is trying to get up in my circle I am really need him Okay, I just got into the room And this is it Let me just set my stuff down and we're seeing it together for the first time as well so in the toilet sink walk-in shower comes with a towel really really nice actually um and like things you can use to get clean that's me hello um i feel like i need to have a shower and go to sleep i am extremely tired um <laughs> Guys, can you see me? Have I turned already? What's going on? Um, but yeah, it smells really cool in here as well. Like, it smells really nice. Um, and you walk in, and here is the bed. Oh, lovely. And then there's like this area. Um, I guess you, yeah, there's like a fridge and kettle and other things. Is that alcohol? What is that? Hello. What is this? Water, probably. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was alcohol, probably the bottle. Really cool bottle. There's another full body mirror, and then like a little, uh, I guess, bench, ottoman. A, a nice compact TV, in perfect eye view from the um, bed. <laughs> and then, yeah, some more towels. Oh, I guess that wasn't a towel in the bathroom was probably a bath mat but there's side tables and then yeah a double bed this is like just perfect for a couple of days staying like i'm really happy with this this is my view i don't know why do people hate me like these days when i go to hotels i don't get like a cute view but it's okay i will spend most of my time outside so <laughs> that's completely fine so yeah that is where i'm going to be staying for the next few days well this is where i'm going to be staying for the next few days here in athens um and so far everything has actually been really really good so um there's obviously options in terms of how to get to this hotel which is Seoul, athens um from the airport and there actually happens to be like a direct train from the airport to monastraki i think that's how you say it um which is the area in which the air, uh, the hotel is in and it's like slap bang in the middle of athens and i came in i saw some stairs it looked like it was going up really high i'm not gonna lie it's quite a tall building i think it's six or seven floors and then i saw a lift and i was like i know that's right so i took the lift up to the reception and the lady was like hey like she was just telling me about the hotel it's very new it's only like a year old um she was telling me the area is really safe she's really smiley her name is natalie she was really kind so yeah super simple check-in there was like a little i guess tax like a hotel or tourist tax or something but it was only one euro fifty sorry the train ticket from the airport to monastraki was nine euros which is really good compared to the uber which would be around 35 to 40 euros the hotel itself can also offer you airport transfer but it is 40 euros i believe 42 or something like that or 45 even and so yeah getting the train super easy you don't have to like transfer to another train just take it it's about 40 minute train ride and a huge part like a big part of it is also overground so you can see the Athens scenery so I'm really excited to be here it looks really lovely I'm not gonna lie it's very hot in here and I don't think I'm wearing weather appropriate clothes so let me increase let me let me figure out how to use this air con a few moments later what's up <laughs> so since I last spoke to you I've had a nap I showered I had a nap and that that was a nap that I needed. Like I was really, really tired. I still feel quite tired. However, it's currently 6 p.m. Um, Greece is two hours ahead of the UK, of London. Once I got to the hotel, um, Natalie at the reception informed me that today is actually Orthodox Easter Monday. So um, Greece celebrated Easter yesterday. And obviously we celebrated Easter in the UK uh, a week ago you know pagan calendars and those things whatever however um it's like a bank holiday for them so i'm gonna go and see if the restaurants are open luckily there are restaurants literally like three minutes away from here um and they looked really really good i walked past them on my way here they looked lovely outdoor scenes everything i want from my athens trip and the food looks really good so i've just been browsing around google maps and i think google maps is just a great way to get to know your area um i've been browsing around google maps to just see like what's around and i found this really nice restaurant which i'm going to go to um but hopefully it doesn't close too early so i'm gonna get a move on i'm just gonna go and get a quick quick dinner try some local food um i love greek food i love mediterranean food. oh give it to me give it to mama 
but yeah i've also put out all of my clothes um i don't typically get like fully unpacked that's my swimsuits and stuff i'll sort that out but i don't typically get fully unpacked when i come on holiday but because these are literally all the clothes that i have bought on this trip i thought why not make use of all the hangers and i like it i like all the colors i'll show you the clothes and stuff probably tomorrow uh, when the sun is back up but today we're going to eat baby i got this dress a while ago from asos um nearly a year ago from asos it's like a long just ribbed it's split on the side um and it's really just flowy and it's nice to walk in i just wanted something casual because i'm actually not going far um this bag is from Shein. you would have seen it from my dubai uh, vlog and post um my new balances which i also got from asos which are getting really dirty like i need to clean them um and then jewelry as usual is mainly asos 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 I'm not wearing a watch um and then these sunglasses are from Primark and I have a scrunchie in my head as well from Primark, which I really love wearing scrunchies. Um, put some lip gloss on, I've brushed my eyebrows and that's it. This is the lift, right? Um, it looks like a, like a door to a room. Anyway, that's the lift. This is the plant that's right in front of it. That scared the life out of me. Oh my gosh. Let's go outside. Oh my God, the step. <laughs> oh my gosh. Courtney, pay attention. <laughs> Take us for money. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my baby Girl, you amaze me that dinner I had was absolutely lovely and I saw this gelato place on my way to my hotel um, and I was like I have to get ice cream um, mm. um, I picked strawberry and a flavor called sweet bread hello, hello you okay uh, are you planning on uh, sitting here oh is this for like a specific restaurant uh, yes, for sorry I didn't know I didn't know this time okay. sorry Sorry, I was saying, I saw this um, gelato place on my way to the hotel. Tastes really good. This whole big tub was like five euros. And I tried this flavor called Sweet Bread. Firstly, the man who served me, that man was fine. Like, he was so cute. But anyway, he gave me a sample of this flavor called Sweet Bread. It's really nice. Genuinely, I can't tell you what it is. Like, I can't tell you what the flavor is, what it tastes like. It's not even like bread. Like, it's not like bread. It has chunks of like a doughy thing in there. It's good though. Also, do you chew your ice cream or do you let it melt in your mouth? Personally, I'm of the school of thought that if you just let your ice cream melt in your mouth, you're a child. But you know sensitive teeth people I sympathize with you and then I also got the strawberry flavor because I love me a good sorbet this strawberry isn't really hitting though but then it has a weird texture to me this this sweet bread I'm, I need to figure out what that is but and then um he said that because this is a large container he, I can fit in a third flavor and it would be the same price and I didn't know what to pick because there were so many good options I was like, oh, you can just pick for me. So I think he put Mars or Twix. It tastes more like Mars. I think it's Mars. I like it. I just love that good gelato texture. But so far, Athens has been really nice. It's been a restful day. I haven't left this area. But this is such a nice area. I mean, look, like, this is the seating and there's loads of um, restaurants around. Like, look how pretty that is. Um, the restaurant I actually ate at is just up there, but and the gelateria is just there. And so, yeah, such a nice area. Didn't really need to leave. Um, it's been nice so far. It's been a sorry, 
realized you weren't looking at me there. It's been a nice day so far. Um, I've been heavy on the lactose today. You know, we move. So I came to Greece with no makeup, um, like out of choice. I just, I'm not doing, not that I'm not doing much. I just don't, I'm starting to not really enjoy doing makeup often. Like even on the podcast, we started to wear makeup a lot less. Um, and it's nothing to do with makeup. Like I love a good beat face. I love looking cute, do not get me wrong. It's just long. Like I don't know what else to say. It just takes such a long time. And you know when you just genuinely cannot be bothered like, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Even when I do my makeup, like on Sunday, I did my makeup in like 10 minutes. I just keep it to a really simple routine. I just don't know if I'm over it. But yeah, I just thought if I'm not really enjoying the process of makeup currently, it's not like I have to wear it. Um, no one has to wear makeup, so yeah. But I did bring my Holy Grail, which is the Refi Brow Sculpt, um, just to give me that laminated brow look and some lip gloss. So this is the new um, NYX. This is Juice Gloss, the electrolyte infused color one. I just saw it, I remember, I don't know who got this in PR, but I saw it on someone's Instagram or their YouTube. I was like, oh, let me pick it up. It's kind of expensive. Um, the tube is definitely giving throwback hair shop lip gloss though and I really like that but it's not as thick like and it has an applicator it's not like a squeezy tube um, it's not as thick but it doesn't very, it doesn't last very long the shine is lovely this is the coconut chill uh, flavor smells fragrance type model <laughs> what do you call it shade it's not a shade Maybe it's the shade, I don't know. But yeah, this is the coconut chill version. Um, smells absolutely lovely. And yeah, it's just a good everyday gloss, but you definitely have to like keep reapplying it kind of thing, which is fine. It does feel nourishing though, and it kind of does like a little tingly thing on your lip. Not like how plumping glosses do, but kind of adjacent. Um, and then I add the NYX Butter Gloss in Praline on top, which is like the perfect nude color for me. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if these two just don't mix or if it's the butter gloss itself, but it kind of has like a graininess to it. But I don't know if NYX has changed their formula or whatever. Um, but yeah, after I apply the refi brow sculpt and that sits for a little bit, I use the brush and I just like comb my brows up to like press them down. Oh, why is it white? Okay, cool. Let's press, press press with a bit of not force but like you want it to be slick think baby hairs kind of thing and then i take my fingers and i just like smooth it in to get rid of any like white residue as you can see like here i just get rid of that and it just that's how i do my brows and that's my makeup look thank you for coming to my house vogue um i'm such a weirdo okay i'm gonna go and get changed we hit out. Also, my skin has been acting up. Like I have a spot coming through here. I can feel it. Um, like it's proper under the skin. It's quite painful. And then like I had some spots here. Just my skin is rebelling. My skin is rebelling. I don't like that. So this is today's outfit. Um, I um, these are my new balances which I've been wearing like every day and um, these are white jeans from Simply B. I feel so awkward <laughs> but I don't usually do this but yeah these are white jeans from Simply B. I got them. Oh my hands are dry oh my days my hands are so dry for my Dubai trip and they're really comfortable feel really nice and um, they're just like a regular fit and this is a top that I got in the haul that I was meant to show you before, you know, my phone decided to give up on me. Um, I got this top recently from ASOS. It's super duper cute. I hope it's still in stock. It will be linked down below. These glasses, 
I don't know where they're from. These, uh, Mandy gave it to me. Mandy gave them to me. So I don't know where these are from, but these earrings, ASOS, chubby hoops, and then this is like a stacked ring from ASOS as well, but I think it's Design B, the brand. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing my Apple Watch and I'm also wearing a bangle, a gold-plated bangle from ASOS as well, which I'll leave down below. This bag is from Shein, but I'm debating whether I should take this bag, which I think looks cute, like it's very amateurist, yeah. But also, this bag would be more practical because I wanna take the tripod. I don't know, obviously I'm, I'm here solo, before y'all speculate but i'm here solo as you've seen i don't think you'll speculate anyway there's no reason to speculate um i want to take the tripod so that i can take pictures of myself however the tripod is it's not that big but it's not going to fit in this bag and obviously i can hold it with my hand but i don't want to look like i'm carrying a firearm with me around so I was just thinking when I get to like my sites and stuff, obviously I'll be with other tourists. So I can just ask people like, hey, can you take a picture of me in my cute outfit? But I don't know, I might want to do my own and I can use my Apple Watch as a viewfinder and stuff. But because of like how far I'm going and how much I have to walk, I don't really want to be carrying this around because I think it might look a bit weird. But, and I like this bag. I like being hands-free. I can just be on my phone. Oh, someone's at the door. Who is it? How are you? Hi. Say Oh, no, no, I'm good. Yeah, good. good. No problem. Oh. <laughs> no problem, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this bag makes it easier. Like, this bag makes it a lot easier. I can be hands-free. I can be on Google Maps. It goes with the whole, like, the warm sunglasses thing. Also, this scrunchie, this scrunchie is from... Primark. But anyways, I'm waffling. I need to go. It's about 20 minutes walk to the Acropolis. So I'm going to go there, especially because I don't know if I explained, if you're in Greece and you are not fully, why was there a timer for one second? Mm. If you are in Greece and you are not fully vaccinated, you need to have like a rapid antigen test, um, proof of a negative rapid antigen test uh, for 48 hours like you need to get one done every 48 hours just to prove that you are covid negative um i have not been fully vaccinated in terms of my full doses however i did a antigen test when i was coming here as you guys saw when i went to damn health and so that is still valid i only did that about 36 well actually closer to like 45 hours ago so i have about four hours left on that antigen test so i just want to use that up today to do the touristy stuff um and then i will get an antigen test done here tomorrow um for the final 48 hours of my trip yeah i feel like that would be more cost effective also i need to stay in and like edit and do emails and stuff because i am still working um so yeah that's that but just have that in mind i do believe though by the time this vlog goes up that would have changed because they are like lessening the restrictions on travel and tourism in greece from the first of may so definitely check with you know your government website the greece tourism website like all of that So I picked up this wrap because I haven't eaten today, it's about 1.30 and um, it was only 5 euros and I also got a Fanta with that and I just stopped off because it was across the road from the pharmacy so I stopped off to ask how much it would be to get an antigen test. It's only 8 euros and the results come in 20 minutes so I'm going to do that tomorrow.
all that walking was definitely worth it this place is stunning like i'm i find it completely surreal that i'm actually here so I, i'm gonna keep licking my lips because i left my lip gloss at home so this place is amazing oh my gosh the blue skies the architecture of course this is ancient greece like i don't know coming up here i was just feeling very emotional because this really is somewhere i've always wanted to see I'm in Athens, drinking a slushy on a bench in a cute top on a Tuesday. Twenty five is about to be fabulous. So I was on my way home, and then I walked past here, and I was like, "Oh." Agora, that's on my like hit list. So I thought I'd stop in. Um, and similarly to the Acropolis, I don't know if I explained, but they have set ticket prices. I believe the Acropolis is 20 euros. Um, but if you are younger than 25 years old, which I am by like one week, you get to enter in for 10 euros. It's not a fly on my hand. You get to enter in for 10 euros. And similarly here, the ticket to get into the garden is 10 euros. But if you are under 25 and I believe over like 60 or 65, you get in for five euros. So that's how much I paid to get in because I'm a young babe for another seven days. So let's go and explore the ancient Agora of Athens. So we've come to the end of day two in Greece. Today was a really nice day. Like it is everything that I wanted it to be. And in terms of like going to see the sights, um, Athens is a beautiful city. It's a bit of me. It is a bit of me. Like I love, um, I don't know how to, what to call it, but like cities like London, New York, where the infrastructure is like, skyscrapers new buildings and stuff like that like i love those kinds of scenes and the lights and you know all those kind of 
new school kind of buildings i love that that gives me absolute life um i've never really been one for like appreciating historic buildings if that makes sense like i typically find them a bit like ah boring everyone looks the same but <laughs> literally a little bit uncultured um but also i still love that kind of city city feel however this like the ancient greek architecture and seeing it with my real eyes i don't think pictures or even the videos and this vlog could really do it justice and i think you should definitely find a way um at some point in your life to come to athens and see them for yourself um and i'm so glad that i've actually done it because i was saying this when i was at the acropolis this is something that i've wanted to do for a really long time i've always been so passionate about travel exploring the world moving to new cities and stuff like that and whilst this is you know it's just a four-day trip to athens um i'm just so thankful that i can actually do that like i can be young and explore the world and say that i want to go and see something or do something and actually go and do it because i know that not everyone has that opportunity and i was definitely at a place in my life where i didn't have the opportunity or the uh, the res resources to be able to do that um and i'm just so proud of myself and it, it was quite like it was just sinking in and i'm just like wow i'm so proud of the person that i'm becoming and i'm i've become and i th i think because i'm turning 25 next week as well all of that is playing on my mind in terms of like the last 25 years of my life the first third of my life god you know willing i see more than 75 years of age but like hitting 75 is a blessing an absolute blessing but that's another conversation for another day but let's take it as i've lived the first third of my life and it has been a flipping roller coaster it has been full of so many ups and downs and i find that because i've experienced quite a bit of pain and like things that i see i can often feel a bit down like why did my life have to be like that but then i look at my life now and towards the end of this 20, first 25, um, the first 25 years of my life, I'm starting to see so much purpose come out of that pain and so much redemption, but also the fact that like, the how the story starts isn't how the story ends. Um, and my story is far from ending, but this, this segment <laughs> of it has ended well it has really ended well my life has been a testament of faith and favor um and for that all i can do is thank god because it's not me like it's not it's not anything that i could have done to have my life actually turn out this way because life could have turned out anyhow if it wasn't for the grace of god none of this would be possible and that's all like like even when you'll probably hear my voice in the background of some of the clips of when I was like l around like doing my touristy stuff I was just saying my god oh my god god you're so good how is this god how and that's all I'm finding those are the only words I'm finding as I approach 25 like I look at TMS that is my dream to like be able to help women on their journey and with their story as they grow as people as they find new relationships as they heal <laughs> like all of that to be able to help women do that by just sharing my knowledge my experiences and my voice that's a dream come true um to be able to create content like that's crazy i'm i think because i've always been quite an academic person i'm gonna have time stamps as well because i know some of you are here for the touristy stuff you can skip it's fine um you know go and see the b-roll because i put a lot of effort into it <laughs> but also for y'all who want to catch up like here i here here we are um creating content i think obviously all my life wow well, that that fridge is loud <laughs> obviously all my life i've always been very good and i've excelled at academia um and i'm really thankful for that and i i love it right i love what being good at stuff who doesn't but at the same time i've always had like creativity like i've always wanted to create and it's just a part of who i am and so getting to create things that look nice getting to create memories getting to create you know it might not be that deep because it's just like it's vlogs and stuff but getting to actually share a story and a journey um through you know these, these glowing and glowing diaries is really fun like it's actually really fun and i get i'm so glad i found a way to express myself this way and it's absolutely crazy because i swore that i would never be a vlogger that i would never vlog if you remember that portion of my life then you remember but like 
I just swore that that wouldn't be me and yet it was pretty much everything that I needed. I think I can be quite like hard-headed sometimes or I can think no this is how I'm supposed to be, this is how it's supposed to be but it's like if there's one thing turning 25 has made me realise it's that for the last 25 years I have just been evolving, <laughs> like I have just been growing, I have been learning, I've been adapting, I've been resilient um, with change and life has knocked me a few blows it's toughened me up and I've dealt some back and by the grace of God we're now carving out the life that I want to live forever and yeah 